We thank you, Lord, whereby comrades could gather one with another in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we are about to go on this crusade, Lord, up to the Prime Minister, resident, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you're going to guide and protect us, Lord. We pray, Lord, that as we are going on this crusade, Lord, you're going to give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, Lord, to deal with this situation. Lord, we pray everyone that is on the way, Lord, you're going to hasten their footsteps, Lord. We pray all the drivers, Lord, we pray that you're going to guide them, you're going to drive for them this day, Lord. You're going to let your holy angel encamp us around us, Lord, that no plague shall come near thy dwelling. We thank you, Lord, for each and every one that is representing the self and the home and at large Trinidad and Tobago, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you're going to take us to that point, Lord, to do what we have to do. In no other name but in the name of Jesus and all God's people say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Supporting all the way, good for you.
Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago this Sunday afternoon, the 26th of August 2018. We wonder, before we do anything, I want to just outline our program here this afternoon. I know that we are still expecting some comrades on their way coming from deep south and from other parts of the country making their way to be present at this very significant and perhaps history-making prayer session here this afternoon. 
But I want everybody to stay the course for the entire afternoon. It would not be too long, approximately three hours, but to stay the course. Stay the course for justice. Stay the course for equity. Stay the course for truth. Stay the course for Trinidad and Tobago. Stay the course for good governance. Stay the course for your company, the Petroleum Company of Trinidad and Tobago. Stay the course to ensure that it does not fall into the hands of the vultures, the one percent. And stay the course, comrades, for your God-given right to be able to have a job to secure and to provide for your family and communities throughout Trinidad and Tobago. In other words, what we are doing is not just for ourselves. If anyone is paying close attention, it is for the benefit and for the concern of all of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And so as I welcome you here this afternoon with very nice weather, Father God would have recognized what we are about is just and fair. And in the, in the interest of fairness and in the interest of the people, Father stayed his hands. Yes. And we will welcome any type of weather, rain or shine, because we know it is God's wonders to perform. And so, comrades, we have a program laid out here this afternoon. We will be taking instructions from the police. The police is present. We want to thank them for being present here this afternoon. Ensuring that no foreign matter or no one external interfere with this law-abiding, lawful, religious program here this afternoon. Thanks to the police. And so whatever instruction we get from the state police, we will be taking that instruction here this afternoon. May I also say that what we are doing is also for the state police of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And so decency and fairness ought to know no bounds. And for those who don't have a voice, and for those who want to express all that we want to express today, we are here to do that against the odds. It is the odds that have, has already always attended when anyone stand up to speak out against a type of bad governance. It is the odds that continues to be against us. But we have absolutely no fear or no regard for that. So we are going to be having here this, this afternoon, comrades, we are going to be having prayer from the different faiths in Trinidad. We're going to have the Hindu prayer. We're going to have the Muslim prayer. We're going to have the Christian prayer. We're going to open the floor for anyone or everyone to come to the table here and say a prayer for Trinidad and Tobago, say a prayer for Petrochin, say a prayer for ourselves and our job, our security, and so on. And when we have finished that part of the prayer session, not to leave you empty-handed, we have a surprise for you. And that surprise will also fall in sync with our purpose here this afternoon. So once again, I thank you for coming out. I welcome you. Stay the course. Pay attention. Uh, be very silent. No talking or no cross-talk while our purpose is being discharged. And so that 
Our Father, who art in heaven, will hear the only voice that is crying out for him to intervene in this situation. But let us start off with observing our country's national anthem. Punch from the love of liberty in the fires of hope and prayer with boundless faith in our destiny we solemnly declare side by side we stand islands of the blue Caribbean sea it's our native our lives to thee. Here every greed and race finds an equal place. And may God bless our nation. Here every greed and race finds an equal place. And may God bless our nation. To remain standing at attention to observe one minute silence one minute silence in respect of the passing of a number of workers retirees and workers who were not too long still current workers of Petrotrin but workers generally who would have passed on Workers from inception, different incarnations of the company, but who would have taken strain working in the sun, working in the rain, under the most perilous conditions. No safety, no safety gears, no safety laws to protect them, but they would have given their blood, sweat, and tears. They would have given their lives to ensure that they pass on to the nation what we now describe as the petroleum company of Trinidad and Tobago. And in so doing, they would have contributed enormously to the wealth of this country. Billions and billions of dollars coming from the hands and the backs and the shoulders of men and women who would have give, given their all to ensure that this country prosper. And if this country did prosper at all, and it did prosper. It could not have done that without the input, the invaluable input of these earlier men and women and so on. And so we want to observe one minute silence in respect of those who would have passed on. I also want you comrades, to observe the contribution of our retirees, those who are today not able to come with us, not able to be present here, but that they are here in spirit, but that they are here in spirit and some of them in flesh, simply because they know what we are fighting for is just and fair and reasonable and that they too would have given their all. And some of them, indeed most of them, are laid up sick in their bed, lame, because of occupational diseases that would have come about as a result of working in the oil company of Trinidad and Tobago in various spheres of activity, either in the refinery or in the fields or offshore facing some of the most dangerous conditions just to put food on the table not only for their families but to put bread on the table for Trinidad and Tobago we want to recognize them with a round of applause here this yeah, afternoon yeah. it is significant that the story be told properly and that all of those who have ears will hear and those who have eyes will see and those who are not afraid of the truth will understand and accept that you, the workers of Petrotrin, Petrotrin is no ward of the state, notwithstanding the attempt by some 
to downcry the company just to be able to put it in the hands of their friends. For that reason and that reason alone, they would bad mouth and bad talk, Petrochin. It is important that we talk with one clarion voice for everybody to hear that there will be no time that we in the Alfie's Workers Trade Union will accept the giving away or the selling out of our national patrimony. And so it is in God we trust and from whom we draw our strengths. And it is the Almighty that protected this union. This union that carries institutional knowledge about the company for which we defend today, Petrochin. From inception to now, from the beginning of the oil industry in Trinidad and Tobago, passing on that knowledge from our four parents to us, saying clearly to everybody else if it is one set or one group of persons who know about the oil business to make sure that it is efficient and profitable, it is the Alphys Workers Trade Union and its members yes. and the Petrochemical yes. Workers. Nobody else, no expert, and I'm going to talk about that sometime later on, no expert coming from nowhere can have the knowledge, competence, and or experience to tell us how to make profitable an enterprise that the politics would have made non-profitable and would have condemned to doom because of the politics. And so, comrades, you are not at fault. I am clear in my mind that the workers are not in f at fault, that the Petrochin workers are not responsible for all the bad decisions that was made on behalf of the company. Indeed, when they were making those bad decisions, we were telling them and warning them not to do that. But they did not listen. Successive governments would have gone down the road of corruption. Successive government would have gone down the road of political convenience, placing this valuable company in the hands of those who don't know, don't care, but care only about one thing themselves and their pockets. And as a result of that, those who would have known it was happening, fold, did their arms while it was happening and now want to play that they're more honest and they're more caring than everybody else. They can fool absolutely nobody. Indeed, if they fool their supporters or their friends, God is looking. They cannot fool Almighty God. And therefore it is for those reasons we are here this afternoon. Now, we want to, to start, but before we start, we want to get involved in a few hymns. Yeah, this is a prayer service. Oh, In the shadow, in the shadow of thy truth, thy sins, thy sins of mercy, your sufficient dies, thine arm alone, and our defense is sure. Now I 
eternal Lord. One more time, oh God. Oh, oh God, oh God, in it is past. Oh, for yes to come. Oh, shelter. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Your life and the burden of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy. Sing it again, oh, I do I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there. I receive my life, and now I am happy all the way. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend! What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. All because, all because we do not carry. trouble anywhere, anywhere. We, should never, we should never be all right make a joyful noise unto the lord yes yes praise the lord Let me invite Comrade Sahar. Yes, you ready? Let me invite Comrade David Harry. Comrade David Harry, a long standing employee coming from Petrotrin Point 14 and an officer of the Alphys Workers Trade Union and, of course, deep in the faith. Let's welcome Comrade David Tari to open here with prayer this afternoon. Comrades, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Comrades, before I continue, I would want us to understand, I know the President General has said that he wants us to be obedient. You know the good book says it's better to obey than to sacrifice. We are here this evening to pull down walls of injustice. We are here to pull down various walls of inequality. But when the children of Israel had to pull down the wall of Jericho, if it's one thing they did, was obey. All did not believe, but all obeyed. So I want us to obey this evening. Because what we are doing here is not for form or for fashion. It's serious business. And I want us to assume that type of attitude. Because God is not a respecter of any person. And we are here to send a message. Before I pray, I just want to read a psalm, part of a psalm. Psalm number four. Sorry, Psalm 5. I'm reading from verse 1 to 8. He said, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. 
The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into the house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship towards the holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemy. Make thy way straight before my face. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we approach your throne. Yes, Lord. We call you master. Yes, Lord. We call you king. Yes, Lord. We call you creator. Yes, Lord. We approach your throne this evening, oh God. Yes, inviting your Holy Spirit yes, amongst us. Yes, Father, because we are here for a reason and for a purpose. Yes, and we want that purpose to be fulfilled. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come again every plan and every strategy. Yes, we pull down every stronghold. Yes, Father, we come against principality and yes, powers yes, and spiritual wickedness yes, in high places. Yes, because we trust in you, dear God. Yes, Father, we pull down the walls of injustice, yes, inequality. Yes, we pull down the walls of heavenly master this evening. And we give you the honor and the praise, dear God. Yes, Father, I bring the president general before you. Yes, Father, you know the reason and the purpose you laid it upon his heart yes, for us to be here this evening. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray that you're going to put a hedge around him. Yes, you're going to grant him knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yes, oh, Heavenly Master, as we continue, oh God, to fight yes, this fight. Yes, for, oh, Heavenly Master, guard him with your armor, dear God, yes, that he will do as you direct. Yes, Father, and every one of us stand here today. Yes, we are praying that our hearts and our mind be in one accord. Yes, Lord. Because you promised where two or three assemble themselves for oh God. Touching on things pertaining to you. You are in the midst and you are to bless. Jesus. And we need a blessing. Yes, Lord. Not for ourselves no, Lord. but for our country. No, for our company, no, Petro Train. No, no. We need a blessing. We need our heavenly master to turn around the hearts of men who is going down the road of heavenly master in a direction that would see our land not be with peace. But we pray for peace, peace for bread, yes, and for justice, yes, O oh, Heavenly Master. Yes, we cry out for those who cannot cry out. Yes, we cry out for those yes, underprivileged. We cry out, O oh, Heavenly Master, yes, for all those, yes, O oh, Heavenly Master, have been oppressed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. We claim the victory over every situation. Yes, we pray for a blessing on the company of Petrotrin. Yes, we pray, O oh, Heavenly Master, that you will turn things around, O oh God. O oh, Heavenly Master. Yes, Father, you say, O oh God, if men don't want to hear and turn from the wicked ways, you, Lord, will bring them to the knees. Father, we pray that it do not have to come to that for those in authority, O oh, Heavenly Master. But we pray. That they will hear the cry yes, of your people, yes, oh heavenly master, yes, as they cry out, because they cry out yes, for equity, yes, oh heavenly master. Yes, Lead us, oh God. Yes, Father, I pray for everyone else who's going to come to pray this evening. Yes, Lord. Oh heavenly master, that our prayer will be in one accord. Yes, Lord. We pray, oh heavenly master, oh dear God, a blessing. Yes, Lord. Lord, you have brought us safely yes, from our various destinations. Yes, Oh, Heavenly Master, we give you thanks and praise. Yes, we give you the honor and glory. We lift up your name on high, dear God. Okay. We glorify you. We magnify you. Uh, because we turn our eyes onto the hills okay. from where cometh our help. For we know that our help is coming from the Lord. Lord, Lord. Father, we ask all these through your blessed Son, Jesus Christ, almighty name. Amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah.
As we continue, as we continue, comrades, I want to invite to the microphone here at the our altar, a comrade, a retiree, worked in the penal bar poor fields. A comrade who has always been with us, a former officer, I want to call Comrade Sahadeu to do a prayer on behalf of the Hindu faith. And may I have Comrade's attention, please. Good afternoon, Comrades. Um, I would like to give the meaning of this prayer after, um, because I, at this point in time, I think it is most appropriate in terms of the requirements for the union in the country and as the country as a whole. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejas Vina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvishavahe Om Shantihi 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 President of the Trinidad and Tobago Farmers Union, member of JTOM, to do a prayer on behalf of the Muslim faith. We welcome Comrade Shiraz. President, afternoon, comrades. To my Muslim brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum. To our PG, President General, President of the J2, um, as we pray along to continue to give him strength, guidance and protection against the wicked, evil forces that are around, both right here and other places. Before I, I, I say a prayer, I just want to recite for you, I'm not the best of a reciter or an alim. Um, um, the beginning, the first surah of the Quran, and the last two, which is very, very important, because the Quran is made up of 114 verses, and it is so important to us of what is happening here today, while religions are fighting among one another, and people are dying like sardines on the roadside, and the poor people are being taken advantage of, which no religion really supports about equality while one set of people want to get filthy rich they want the others to get filthy poor yeah. well you know me i know i know alim no 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 imam i'm a muslim but i'm also a trade unionist Amen. i'm a comrade yeah. Yeah. and what we comrades do we respect the creator and we fight for justice, peace, and bread, Amen. and equality for all mankind. Amen. So in my humble voice now, I will recite a piece of the Quran and just pray after, right? A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir wajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Na'st
قل أعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس القناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس meaning Surah Fatiha praise be to Allah Lord of the worlds the beneficent and merciful master of the day of judgment thee alone do we worship and thee alone we ask for help show us the straight path the path of those who thou hast earned thy favor not the path of those who own thy anger nor of those who go astray 113 verse Surah Falak say I seek refuge with the Lord of the dawn from the mischief of created things from the mischief of darkness as it overspread from the mischief of those who practice secret arts from the mischief of those who practice secret arts and from the mischief of the envious one as he practices envy and the 114 verse through an ass say I seek refuge with the Lord and the cherisher of mankind the king or ruler of mankind the God and judge of mankind from the mischief of the whisper of evil who withdraws after his whisper from the mischief of the whisper of evil who draws after his whisper the same who whispers in the heart of mankind among spirits and among men brothers and those sisters and comrades those three verses of the Quran is very very simple meaning of what taking place in our society I now begin my dua or prayer for this country and for our leaders and this, con this gathering A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim O creator of the heavens and the earth master of the day of judgment thee alone do we worship and thee alone do we ask for help as we raise our hands and our hearts before you O creator of the heavens and the earth we beg of you we beg of you for your mercy and your guidance wisdom knowledge and understanding patience for dealing with the wicked ones that are among us here O Lord your Allah we beg of you O creator of the heavens and the earth our country our beautiful country is in turmoil our children are dying our old people are being taken advantage of all the workers who turn the, the mills of of economy in this country are being treated as the dregs of society, O Creator of the heavens and the earth. They come before you today, O Allah. They come before you with their hearts crying, with their family suffering, and at the hands of the bandits because of what the leaders have done to us. We beg of you to protect our leaders because the leaders is the one they come for first. We beg of you to continue to protect them, protect them, protect them against the wicked ones. O creator of the heavens and the earth, we beg of you to give guidance and knowledge for the leader who have lied to us and betray us, who have lied to us and betray us and continue to treat us as a dust, as a garbage in this country. We beg of you to put sense in the head. Put some sense in his head, go Allah. Let him understand what the cry of the people is because some of them have closed their eyes and their ears to what is happening in our society because they are protected but they are not protected against you they are not protected against you because when you say you are ready for them you will deal with them because you also said that those who you want to lead astray you first make them mad and we see that in our society today Ya Allah Ya Allah we beg of you to continue to protect our people in this country Stop the murders. Oh Allah, put a hand and put some sense in the ones who are doing it. Give them some guidance. Give the leaders of all religion to continue to work to make peace in this country and not create har disharmony among the religions because we all came from one creator. We are all flesh and blood. We bleed the same blood. Whatever hair you have or whatever color you have, when you cut us, you see red blood. You don't see white blood, yellow blood or pink blood. You see blood, red blood which is our color of our flag. Do not let us stay in the earth. Do not let us stay in the streets. We need you to put your hand today and bless this country and remove the darkness that is over us. Oh Allah, oh Allah, all of us beg for the same thing today in different ways. We beg of you to all listen to us. Oh, hear us 
and guide us and protect us and help us as we pray for our country. I beg the workers of the of Petrotrain who is going through this trial today, the farmers, the people in CWU, the postal workers, the nurses, the firemen, even the police. Even the police, yalla, as I walk in here, all of them is on hand on their gun. Oh Allah, we didn't come here for no war. We didn't come here for fight. We come to pray and beg the leaders of this country to see light and understand our plight. We have no war with the police. We even want the police to join in the prayer. When you have your order, say, Amen. Praise God, do it. Don't, don't, we are not here to fight. We come in peace. Oh Allah, put some knowledge and understanding in them. And please, oh Allah, as we raise and we, and we pray here, when we're going back to our home, oh Allah, we beg of you to take all of us home safely. Our roads have become killing grounds. Please, oh Allah, oh Allah, how much more can I ask? We are weak. We are weak, you Allah. We are weak, but we need your help. We need your guidance and your protection. Oh Allah, I don't know how much more to ask and how too much more to ask for. Oh. But oh Allah, please protect each and every one of Give us strength, give us knowledge and understanding to continue this fight. Oh Allah, we beg of you. And I will beg of you again, you Allah, our PG, our president, Ansel Roger. We know, we know that there will be a lot of wicked arrows that are going against him. We beg of you to throw everyone aside and in some cases reverse them from the sender. And we beg of you to continue protecting him because they come for the leader first. And all of us will come after. Oh Allah, oh Allah, with my humble words, I beg of you again. Protect each and every one of us. Help us, guide us and protect us. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Wallahi alhamd. Amin, amin. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters and comrades. Thank you very much, my brother and comrade, comrade Shiraz Khan, President of the Trinidad and Tobago Farmers Union. As we continue, comrades, and are we back on? Full blast? Okay. I say a prayer asking for protection, asking for job security, asking for peace, but essentially praying to God for mercy in this time. And let me start by inviting comrade. Yes, Sister Cindy Lake, to our folk, few words of prayer here for us. Let's welcome the sister. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today, covered under the blood of the Lamb. I come in the name of the one who is above all principalities and powers. The one who is the firstborn from the dead. The one who is the creator of all things. Whether there be things in heaven, things on earth. Whether they be visible or invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers. All things was created by him and he is before all things and by him all things consist. I come in his name, the name of Jesus. And as I come, Father, your word declares that justice and judgment is the habitation of your throne. You said that you are a God that exercises love and kindness, righteousness and judgment in all the earth and in these things you delight. Father, we gather here today, O oh God, not only for ourselves, but God, on behalf of our families, on behalf of our company, on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, God, this nation as a whole that is called by your name, La Trinity, God, we say thank you for this day, thank you for this time, thank you for this hour, for God, we know that you're a God that hears and answers prayer. We lift God even before you now. God, the memorandum of agreement that was signed between the union 
and the company. God, the transitionary team. God, you said, oh God, by our words, we shall be justified. And by our words, we shall be condemned. God, this agreement signed on the third day of April, 2018. God, by representatives of the union and the company. The aim, oh God, was to ensure, oh God, Father, the ongoing survival, sustainability, and profitability of this great company. But God, today, in the name of Jesus, God, even as the union has kept their end of the bargain, God, we wait upon the members of God that have signed this agreement. God, to date, they have not held their part of the bargain. And so, God, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, as a God that exercises judgment, as a God that exercises righteousness, God, we ask you to visit them, Lord. Visit them, God. In the name of Jesus, so oh God. God, trouble their hearts today, oh God. God, that these men represent, oh God, fire. Leaders in our society, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, this company, oh God. You know the repercussions of this organization if it goes under. God, it does not only affect those that are employed, but this entire nation, God, is going to be affected. And so God, today... In the name of Jesus, we call upon you, who is the higher power. Yes, said that all authority belongs to you. God, you are the one that has raised up Dr. Rowley to be the prime minister. You have raised up the government of this land, oh God. You are the one that raised up, and you are the one that is able to take down. God, you raise up Robert Riley. You raise up Chantak. You raise up Espine. God, you raise up Sultan Khan, and you are able, God, to take them down. For greater God is you that is in us than he that is in the world. God, all powers must bow to you, O oh God. And so, God, we ask you to visit them, God. God, remind them today, O oh God, of the agreement that they have signed, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every form of ego, every false pride. God, you said that pride go out before a fall. We bind the spirit of pride and egotism that exists at that level, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against every high and lofty thing. God that exalt itself against the knowledge of you. We bring it under the subjection of Jesus Christ. And we declare today that the Lord God reigns supreme. That you, God, are sitting on high and you are looking low. God, you are seeing the evil, but you are also seeing the good. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, look down upon this land. Look down upon this government. Remind the prime minister. Remind the members, oh God, Father, of the government. God, even the opposition. God, you are the one that has raised up all of them. Remind them, O oh God, of their responsibility. Your word declares that they that have the rule over us must first be just, ruling in the fear of you. And we call upon them, God, to be just men, to be just women, and to rule in the fear of you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, this is not about us. This is not about the oil field workers trade union but this is about you oh god god you will be glorified you will be lifted up you will be magnified in this thing in the name of jesus for you are the one that set out on the circle of the earth god it is you that form the foundations of the earth god yes sir, in your hands you are father at the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills are yours you made the sea God, you are the one that caused the sun to rise and you cause it to set. You give it us seasons. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, you can turn the dry places into a watery pool. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the unchanging God. You are the God that led the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of God. Call upon your people, O oh God. God is calling us to a place of righteousness. He's calling us to a place of holiness. And so, Father, O oh God, we confess today, God. Lord, we have sinned. We have fallen short of your glory. But you say, God, if we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness God we confess even the sins of the government we confess the sins of the leaders of Petrotrin God bad management mismanagement misappropriation of funds nepotism oh God all corrupt practices God from the very initiation of this organization God things that has brought this this nation this company to the place where it is God we repent to day and we ask for your forgiveness we ask for your cleansing oh God by the blood of Jesus God not because of anything that we can do but because of your love because of your mercies because of your faithfulness because of the blood of Jesus that was shed for all of us we call upon you today oh God move by your spirit God not only in this place but among the government God among the media among the judicial system God among our families among every religious persuasion father every board every company every CEO God we need you to move as never before this nation calls upon you God as we call upon you I remember Nineveh oh God in the name of Jesus God as you did it for them do it for Trinidad and Tobago do it for Trinidad and Tobago. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, every demonic entity, God, that surround our borders, in the name of Jesus, we come against them now. God, we dismantle, we break, we destroy, and we pull down every evil work, every evil entity. God, in the name of Jesus, every portal that the enemy God has opened in the atmosphere in this nation. We shut it close with the blood of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. We declare the atmosphere belongs to you in the name of Jesus. We declare this nation is a holy nation. We declare, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus, righteousness shall rule this land. Yes, and God, we give you the praise. Yes. We give you the thanks. Hey. We give you the glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we thank you for doing it, Lord. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for turning around. We thank you for order. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Yes. Welcome the comrade. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord God. Glory. Let's give praise to the most high and eternal God today. Yeah. You are Alpha. Someone help me sing, sister. And Omega. We worship your Jesus. Oh. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. Lord, you are worthy. 
to be praised. We give you Awesome and mighty and powerful are you. Yes. Before I pray, I need to carry out a specific instruction that the Lord has given me for today. Yes. I want the children to come forward. Yes. All the children, all the children, from wherever you are, let the children come forward. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. The scripture did say a child shall lead them. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Never underestimate the power of the children. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes, let the children come. Let them come. Hallelujah. Come out closer. All right, bless the Lord God. Yes, man. Bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. Bring them. Bring them, bring them. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes, bring them all. The Lord say, did say, suffer the little children to come unto me. Allow them to come, allow them to come. For of such is the kingdom of God. I'm going to hand over for the children to pray. The children are going to pray now. Amen? Even as they pray, we're going to support them in prayer. That God will do what he has ordained for this evening. In Jesus' name, death. Father, we have any parade over the Lord as we are guarded here. I ask of you for pure cooperation, O oh Lord. I ask of you to help us all, O oh Lord, help the OWTU members to be safe for mighty Father. O oh Lord, I ask of you to help to make the Prime Minister cooperate with what they have to say and listen carefully to what I have to say, O oh Lord. I ask of you to help them, O oh Lord, to be brave, O oh Lord, as they go up to speak to him, O oh Lord. I ask you for everything to work out properly, Almighty Father, going on for them to get what is rightfully theirs, O Lord. Dear Lord, I ask you to keep them all safe, no matter where they go or what they do, O Lord. In this I ask in the name of the Creator, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our Father, who make the heaven, the earth, the moon, the sun, God, I, I hope that 
everybody could be safe. Yes, it does. Good. I hope the Prime Minister can have a wonderful heart. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Good. I thank you for this day, yes. for everybody being here in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Lord Father, I ask you for the blessings that you give us. Yes. I will glorify to you, God. I ask you to keep us safe and bring us home safe. I ask you, God, for all the blessings that you give all of the children and people. I ask you, Lord Father, to keep us safe and bring us home safe. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, bless us for this day. Hallelujah. Let everybody be safe today. Yes, Jesus. Let the tremors work us. Help them work back in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord Father, we ask you to keep us safe this night. Yes, Lord. And Lord Father, bring us home safe. Yes, Jesus, Lord. And Lord Father, we keep us safe. Yeah. And Lord Father, we ask you for all of it. In Jesus' name, Lord, and Lord, our name, in amen. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord, Father, God, Jesus, as we come here, Father, towards you, Lord, my Father. Father, God, Jesus, we ask of you, for your help, Lord Jesus. Grant our wishes today, O Lord, I Father. Be merciful upon each and every one of us today, Lord, I Father. Father, God, I bring up each and every strong rule, O Lord, I Father. Father, God, bless the ODB to you, building today, O Lord, and the members, O Lord, I Father. Father, as we come here for a reason, O Lord, I Father, let us go back with a, a rightful mind, O Lord, I Father. Father, God, change the Prime Minister's mind, O Lord, my Father. Give him the wisdom and knowledge, O Lord, thy Father. Father, God, I rebuke every woman, say, which God, which I'm back to study, world, every prince of fire, this room, and darkness in high places. Father, God, Jesus, have mercy upon each and every one of us today, O Lord, thy Father. Father, God, we can't do nothing without you today, O Lord, thy Father. Father, Father, God, as we, as we call on, on your name today, O Lord, thy Father, we ask of you, Lord, Father, to hear our prayers today, O Lord, I Father. Father God, don't deny thy night towards us. Don't deny thy face towards us, O Lord, I Father. Father God, Jesus, hear our prayers today, O Lord, I Father. We are your children of this country, Lord, I Father. Father God, wake up every deaf, every deaf, every um, every deaf ones, O Lord, I Father. Who turn their back on you, O Lord Jesus? Father God, Jesus, you with us each day and night, O God, I Father. Give us the knowledge and the understanding of God, I Father. Yes, Father, cleanse our hearts as white as snow, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father God, I put kid, Mr. Kid Rolly towards you today, O Lord, I Father. Yes, Father God, you bless him and keep him safe. And Father, you work with him, O Lord, I Father. Yes, Lord. You change his mind, O Lord, I Father. Yes, Lord. Father, I, I thank you, Lord Jesus, today for blessing each and every one of us today, O Lord, I Father. Bless the workers of the Petra train, O Lord, I Father, and all other workers, O Lord Jesus. Father God, use me any way you want to use us, O Lord, I Father. And, and thank you, Lord, today, Lord Jesus, for your blessings. And Father, have me sent one us today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God. God. as we are here today, standing up and praying to you, Lord, I ask that we all will be safe under your blood. Lord, I ask that you will bless the country and stop the crime and violence that is happening. Lord, I ask that you will keep us all safe from all harm and danger, both seen and unseen. Lord, all the accidents and incidents that will be happening, God, and that are, and that are happening, Lord, I ask that you will keep us safe from all of these things under your warm and loving blood. Lord, I ask that you will come and save us all and keep us all together as one group 
and one family. And I hope and pray that we will all stay so under your blood and do not go astray. The Holy Name, I thank you for keeping us safe. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord God. Give God a praise for the children. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are the ones that are going to be affected the most. These are the ones that, whose lives and whose future, whose, whose lives, whose, who, the nation's future is in their hands. And we need to stand for them today because they have come to stand with us and for their generation. Hallelujah, Lord. Let us give God some praise. Father, we look to you today. Yes, Lord. Most high and eternal God, Lord, there is none like you in the heavens and the earth. Amen. God, we open our hearts to you, God, because you alone are our God. You are our strength. You are the very reason we live, O oh God, Father. Lord, the word says, in you we live and move and have our being, O oh God, Father. Lord, our very breath, O oh God, is in your hand, O oh God. And Father, today we turn to you as a people. We turn to you as a nation. We turn to you, O oh God, Father, because we are in a new day, a different time in, O oh God, Father. Father, Lord God, you have marked, O oh God, the days in our history, O oh God, and Father, Lord, there has been a shift, O oh God, the same way the earth has shaken, O oh God, the same way it represents a change in the course of the history of this nation. Father, we pray today, O oh God, that that which you have begun to do, Lord, continue to do it, Lord God. Father, this, Lord, this war is bigger than just petrotrin. This war is for this nation, O oh God, Father, to save the patrimony of this nation, to save the future generation. Father, we place, O oh God, this nation into your hands, O oh God. This nation, oh God, Father, that bears your name, the Trinity. We yes. call forth, oh God, the very nature, oh God, to arise today, Lord yes. God. In the name of Jesus, yes. Father. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, as our people, oh God, Father. We have wandered away from you, Lord. Lord God, we have been inherently corrupt, God, as our people. Father, we have done our own thing, oh God. But your word said, O oh God, that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, if they seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will you hear from heaven, O oh God. Oh, you will forgive our sins, Father, and you will heal our land. Father, today, O oh God, Petro Trin, O oh God, has come to church, O oh God. Today, O oh God, Petro Trin have come to give you praise. They have come to kneel before you. They have come, O oh God, to worship you, Lord. Father, we come, O oh God, because we are in desperate times, O oh God, Father. But we pray today not because you work it out that we will turn our backs oh God but Lord that we will turn our hearts to you completely oh God because today oh God you are arising in our midst you are rising as God over this nation you are rising as King and Lord you are rising as judge oh God and we pray today oh God you are bringing this nation back into alignment with you Father you are bringing this nation in alignment with your perfect will and we pray today everything oh God that is contrary to your will Oh God. Align us, oh God. Align us, oh God. God, even our thought patterns, our belief systems, our habits, oh God, that is contrary to your will, bring us into alignment, oh God, with your word and your way, Father Lord. God, this is not by might, this is not by power, but this is by your spirit, oh God, Father. And we pray today in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we stand, oh God, in the gap, oh God, Father, between the heavens and the earth, oh God, we pray, oh God, we intercede for our comfort. Lord God, there are those that have their intention that is contrary to your will, Father. But God, today, oh God, Father, we pray, oh God, Father, that let your kingdom come, oh God, and let your will be done. Lord, you hold up in your hands, oh God, a script, oh God, that declares the direction that you want Petro Trin to go. And Lord God, you have said, oh God, Father, unless, oh God, the government, unless the board, unless the union, all come in agreement with my script, Lord, we're not moving forward. So we pray today in the name of Jesus. Download your mind. Download your heart. Download your plan, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that we will know that which is your will, Father. God, you have shaken this nation to let them know that you are God. Lord God, that no man has power but you, Father. And Lord, we pray today, oh God, shake our systems. Shake, oh God, Father, our society. Shake, oh God, our way of life. Shake, oh God, Father, until every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus 
Christ alone is God. Father, we stand today, oh God. Lord, we are not afraid, oh God, of what men will do to us. We are not afraid of what the outcome will be. God, this battle has already been fought and won, Father, before the foundations of the earth, oh God. Lord, we barely come here to give you praise, oh God. But God, the bigger issue is our souls. The bigger issue is our lives. The bigger issue is our walk, oh God, with you, Father. Because you said, oh God, that one day we shall all give account, Lord. And Father God, you bear record, oh God. Even as you did bear record, oh God, Father, when you put those that are in power, you bear record because you ask them specifically that if I put you in power, will you consider me first when you are making your decisions? And God, they gave a resounding affirmation that they will. And Lord God, today is the day of reckoning. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that all hearts, oh God, will bow to you. God, there is no power beside that which you have given there is no authority beside that which you have given God. and father we pray today the heart of his of the king is in your hands turn it lord whichever way you will turn it father turn it oh god father lord until it comes into alignment with your will so father we yield to you today and we pray oh god father for every soul oh god and every heart that is here we pray again oh god even as the lord jesus has taught us to pray our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day this our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, even as we forgive those that trespass against us. Let deliver us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Comrade. Thank you very much. And that's our appreciation for the children in our midst here. And prudent will be revealed unto the babe and suckling. You want to go with a hymn now, Song the Battle Cry? Song the battle cry, see the foe is night, raise the standard light for the Lord. Gird your armor on, stand firm as we want, rest your heart from the power of truth. Rouse them soldiers, rally round the banner, for Forward, marching on to victory. We are masters of our destiny. Oh God, oh God, oh God, God. hear us when we call. Help us one and all. I die with when the battle is done and the cause is won. Help us with the power of well. Rouse them. Rosen, Rosen, soldier, marching on the battle. We are masters of the I now call on our brother and comrade, comrade Imam Hussein. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. As salatu wa salam ar Rasul Kareem. First, we praise God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the source of all peace and the source of all perfection. I will relate a few verses from the Quran, from Surah 79, Surah Nazir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty says, 
Halata kahadi su Musa. Has the story of Moses come to thee? Is hab ila Fir'aun innahu taqa. Go to Pharaoh, he said. Pharaoh, for he has transgressed. He is oppressing his people. He is making life difficult for his people. Ask him. Halata kahadi su Musa. Is nada rabbuhu bil wadil mukaddasi tuwa. One ask him first, would you like to change your ways? Would you like to become better? And I think the memorandum of understanding was an agreement between the workers and the board. Let us come to an agreement. Let us work this out. But that, what did Firaun, that mighty king, say? He called his people and his uh, cohorts, as you would say, and he said, Ana Rabbu Kumulala, I am the boss here. I am your Lord. What are you telling me about this agreement? And my dear brothers and sisters, this battle is as old as mankind itself. From the days of Butler, from the days of George Week, Rienzi, and today it continues. And it will always be here once the pharaohs are here. And so today, I am asking God Almighty because in this Fakul God Almighty intervened in this battle because Moses prayed unto him. He was of the righteous. And as all the people have been saying before, God will be on the side of those who are just. And he intervened and he liberated as we know the children of Israel. Today we're seeking liberation and it should only come with our efforts. Over the years, I worked in Petruchin. In fact, I worked in Texaco in 1972. So before many of you here, you may not know that. And I know what it is. You see how we're standing up here? When I worked, I worked in FedChem also. After the first week, I tried to figure out why my back was hurting. They didn't have any chairs for you to sit. They want to make sure you stood for your eight hours of work. That was until the unions came and they changed the conditions of people. For years. And they will always do that. Those things they will give in. They never will. But God is on our side. God is on our side. He's always on the side of those who sweat. And so we ask today, I raise my hand in prayer and I ask you to join me in a special prayer. For our, especially our leader, Comrade Roger. Your back has to be strong. Yeah. Your mind has to be firm. Yeah. And all of us who are with him, we have to walk with him. It's not going to be easy. Trinidad, the young kids who are here, they are the ones who are sick. But God Almighty is the master of the universe. He can say, Kun fire kun be, and it is. And so today, I want to offer a special prayer, a personal prayer for not only this company, but for the land of Trinidad and Tobago and for what you have. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد نبيك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والله God Almighty you are the master of the universe today we come to the God Almighty seeking of thy grace and thy mercy seeking of thy grace and thy mercy not only for the company of Petrotrin but for this land to free it of the darkness, to let the light shine here, O Allah, to let the goodness of this nation continue, to ensure that our children and the crime disappears, God Almighty. You alone can do this, God Almighty, but you need good people, O Allah. And we are those who, our blood and sweat, have allowed this land to be what it is. So we ask you to bless us and to bless the leader of this union and to bless the executive of this union and bless us all here today. Amen, Rabbil Alameen. God Almighty help us and bless us. Amen. Afternoon, comrades. Are we feeling good this evening? Yes. 
You see, we must be confident, comrade. And what we do? You know, and God say you never leave us, neither forsake us. He never say we're not going to face challenges, but he promised he's going to see us through. You know, and all of us here this evening, one way or the other, our workers in this country, all of us, and when we stand here this evening, we stand together. You know, so I want to offer a word of prayer on behalf of all of us here this evening. Oh, great and eternal wise God, master of the universe, creator of all things that are seen and things not yet seen. Father God, we thank you for this present time, dear God, that we are still in the land and the living where our prayer and our supplication can be made unto you, O God. Yes. Father God, we thank you for life, dear God. We thank you for keeping us even from our credit days until this present time, and our dear God. You thank you, God, for the night watch past and gone to see the rising of the morning sun, dear God. We thank you, God. We thank you for every necessity you have provided, dear God. No man, dear God. No man, dear God. No government, dear God. You has provided for us, dear God. For you say in Matthew, O God, look at the lilies in the valley. They toil not. You know, and he says, Solomon is all his array could not have been at one of those lily. He said, Who is you and me that God has so mindful of us that he know that we have needs that he will not give unto us? This evening, dear God, I want to thank you, God, for the executive of the organization, dear God, for the leadership, dear God, for they are not blind leaders, dear God, but they lead by your divine inspiration, dear God. And Father God, you know, those of us who had to be here, is here. We had not to worry about those who are not here. For God, you, O oh God, decides. Man does plan, but you, O oh God, have your good intent. And Father God, this evening, O oh God, I pray that every knee shall bow and confess, knowing that you, O oh God, is the true and the living God. For you say, they that trust in you, O oh God, shall be like Mount Zion, that cannot be removed but abide forever. You say, just as the mountain is wronged about Jerusalem, O oh God, so you, O oh God, is wronged about your people, O oh God, not for a moment or a time, dear God, but from henceforth, even forevermore. For you say, O oh God, the rod of the wicked, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity, O oh God. Father, this evening I pray, O oh God, that our heart is indicted a good matter. You say, where two and three are gathered, asking anything in your name, O oh God, it is to bless their God, and they're going to grant it unto us, dear God. Father, the victory is already there, dear God. We are here to exercise our faith in you, O oh God. We are here, O oh God, to give you honor and glory. Put aside that time, dear God, to give you praises, dear God. Sometimes, O oh God, we're so busy with the work, O oh God. Up and down, dear God. 10, 12 hours a day, O oh God, that we don't get that time for you, O oh God. But today, O oh God, we put aside time and journey from different parts of the country, O oh God, to come before this part of ground, dear God. For it was chosen, O oh God, for you, O oh God, appoint, dear God, at times. And Father God, men must know, O oh God, that with you, O oh God, all things are possible, dear God, for you break down the mighty and strong, and you exalt the humble and meek, dear God. And Father God, I want to bless the children in the midst, dear God. I want to plead your blood upon them, dear God. For Father God, the land of God, oh God, is raging, dear God. But in the name of Jesus, oh God, I plead your blood over their life, dear God. That, oh God, you will guide and protect them, oh God. Oh God, as, as they go to school, dear God, as they learn, oh God, open their minds, oh God, until learning, dear God. Guide them, oh God, from the predators that are out there, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, this evening. Father, I pray that our parents, dear God, be parents, dear God. Amen. That they guide their children, oh God, not as they want, dear God, but as they ought to. For Father God, there are things that we do the way we want to do it, dear God, but they are the way we ought to do it, dear God, in the name of Jesus. For you say, oh God, love each one another, oh God, as you have loved us, dear God, and forgive as you have forgiven us, dear God. And Father God, this evening, oh God, we know, God, that victory is in our hands, dear God. You say anything that come against you, O oh God, cannot stand. Father God, we ask that you open doors that no man can close and close doors that no man can open, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, this evening. Father, we are not here about self, dear God, but we are here about foresight, dear God. For if what is the want to be happen, dear God, is allowed to happen, dear God, those who are ignorant, dear God, 
will only see the, the, the demise of it tomorrow, dear God. But we have foresight to see what will happen today. And that's why we are standing in the gap, dear God, for those who don't have voice for themselves, those who are willing but are afraid, those who are so committed to what they believe in, which is nothing but about you. But Father God, this evening, we are standing in the gap for our children of God, for the future of God, for our company of God, our communities of God, and our country of God. We are standing in that gap, dear God. And Father, for all those who are ignorant-minded, because based on what political affiliation or what, uh, what arrangement they have, dear God, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, for forgiveness for them, dear God, for in the absence of knowledge and information, dear God, ignorance prevail. And Father God, this evening I pray to touch the heart and the mind of every one of us. That we will understand and know that you are first, dear God. For you say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, dear God. And all other things will be added unto us, dear God. Father, again, I want to come back, O oh God, unto your executive, dear God. Father, I ask that you guide your going and coming, dear God. Guide and protect, O oh God, the President General, dear God. Keep him, O oh God. Keep the man, dear God. And let him be guided, O oh God, by your way, dear God. Not by his own inspiration, O oh God, but by your way, God. And he'll continue to be victorious, dear God. Father, I pray that we all give him the support that is necessary, O oh God. I say we must give the support that is necessary, O oh God. For by himself, O oh God, he is nothing, O oh God. So with the, the, the membership, O oh God, with the membership, O oh God, just as... You know you led Moses, oh God, into Egypt, oh God, to move your children of Israel, dear God, from bondage, oh God, so today, oh God, it is the same. You know, it was said before, there is nothing new under the sun. They are going to continue to come again and again and again and again to convince us why we should agree with what they want to do. So, Father, again, we rebuke, oh God, all those who are against us, and we ask that you come to bless us in no other name but your most high and adulterated name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. 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 Okay.
Understanding the fact that you want to leave, we are coming to the close of our program. We ask you to stay and to cover what perhaps might very well turn out to be one of the most important prayer service in the history of Trinidad and Tobago for the future of our country. So as we move on, let me call on Comrade Coban. Let's come. Comrade Coban to come to the microphone and to lead us in prayer. Praise the Lord. Are we happy to be here this afternoon? Yeah. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Because if West Indies score six runs, the neighbor on the next side of the street is here. Let Dr. Keith Rowley hear you. He is in Tobago. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And you know, at this time, this afternoon, we are in a crusade, and there is no part of Trinidad you could tell me, don't go and keep a crusade, because the word said, go on the highways and the byways and preach the gospel, which is the truth. Okay, and we as OWTU and members of Trinidad and Tobago and citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, we are in a crusade this afternoon. So give yourself a round of applause for being here. Praise the Lord. And you know, it's the first time I am in a crusade and I see so many protective services. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will sing this the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Jesus made me glad, Jesus made me glad, oh, I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Jesus made me glad, Jesus made me glad, oh, I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. I will enter his gate. My heart, I will enter his court with praise. I will sing this the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice for he has made me glad. In the name of Jesus, precious name of Jesus, we shall have the victory. In the name of Jesus, precious name of Jesus, the mad will have to flee. Who can tell what the Lord can do? Who can tell his love for you? In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we shall have the victory. There is power. 
power, one the working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, one the working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, one the working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. Working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Praise the Lord. Let's bow our head in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, whereby we are in the land of the living, Lord, and we can see sunlight this afternoon. Lord, we thank you, Lord, whereby your people could come out from far and near in the name of Jesus. They have taken time off from the busy schedule, Lord, to come here to this crusade this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you're going to bless each and every one this afternoon, Lord. That is rest be sent in a home, a loved one. Most of all, Lord, the children this afternoon that pray for this nation, Lord, and pray for Trinidad and Tobago, also Petrochrin, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you're going to bless them, Lord, for they are going to be the future generation of Trinidad and Tobago, Lord. We pray, Lord, we are not going to ask anymore, Lord. We are going to claim it in advance, Lord. We claim the victory over the enemy, Lord. You said claim it in advance in the name of Jesus. Take it back from the enemies in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for giving we giving us back, Lord, petition, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know, if they interfere with petition, Lord, you know at large, Lord, Trinidad and Tobago will suffer in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for our, our leader, God, Comrade Ansel Roger, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for a leader with a heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for your people, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you're going to anoint them afresh this afternoon, Lord. You're going to crown them from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Build a hedge around him, Lord. That no plague shall come near thy dwelling in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, you have brought us this far, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We know you're going to take us to the next end of the journey, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we claim the victory in advance on Tuesday, Lord, when we are going to meet with... The board of directors that made that decision, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you are the God of the, of the universe, Lord. And we know you can turn our wrong things. We thank you, Lord, for turning it around in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, every undertaking this afternoon, Lord, you could anoint it and run it for the honor and glory of your name, Lord, and of Trinidad and Tobago. We thank you in all the name, but in the name of Jesus, all God's people say, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. And come as I want you to join me by putting your hands together to welcome former Calypso monarch of Trinidad and Tobago to do her timeless contribution. Here is in song, Every Knee Shall Bow. Let us welcome our sister, Karina Ashley. Put your hands together. I look to the hills from whence my soul is come and will and no sword. My shield is the Lord, but some here on earth match to a different drum. Yes, they live to fight, feel that might is right. For those who vain to build their own statue, on pedestal high themselves they perch. Humility. 
Sincere cigarettes is virtue. So let them brag and boast. The last shall be first. For all who feel the Almighty, oh so big and powerful, calling the self majesty. Every knee shall bow. God alone is. He alone is. Oh, the one and only. To him alone I bow. So whether you are ruler, Pharaoh, Caliph, or Lord, somewhere, somehow, every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. Silver and gold, their fortune keeps mounting like a tower. They don't know the meaning of enough. They like to equip money with power, but things material rust, crumble into dust. For all the feel the Almighty, important and powerful, Christian the self majesty. Every Shall bow, Jehovah alone is. He alone is for the one and only. To him alone I bow. Whether you have mansions, palace, villa, or none, somewhere, somehow, every knee shall bow. So long ago, back in Jericho, I wonder how our leaders sleep at night. Do they ever dream while poor people scream? The same ones who said they put the wrong things right. Oh, once they reach on top, become a corrupt. So the grassroots cries become unconscious. While family and friends they patronize And then they wash their hands like punches Because they in church Feel they larger than large You want them All who feel they all night All conquering and powerful Emperor and majesty Every knee shall bow Yahweh alone is Omnipotent To him only I bow 
So tell who in power My people's mind they all gone Somewhere Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, man. Let's go back to the north. Okay. All right, we want to continue. We have about three more press to go, and then three yes, important and crucial announcement. You know, I want you to hear directly. There's a lot of fake news going about the place, and you ought to only pay attention to one source of information. And that is your union, the Alfie's Workers Trade Union. Yes. I want to recognize in our midst here members from the leadership of the Joint Trade Union Movement. Let us show our appreciation for their presence here this afternoon. First of all, let us recognize Comrade David Forbes, Secretary General of the Postal Workers Union. Comrade Edith Stewart. President of the Registered Nurses Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Comrade Leo Ramchan, President, Leo Ram Kisun, Ram sorry, President <laughs> of the Fire Services Association. Let us recognize his, his presence. Well, and accompanying, Comrade Trim is accompanying his uh, Secretary General. Let us show our appreciation. And of course, you heard earlier on, Comrade Shiraz Khan, President of the Trinidad and Tobago Farmers Union. Huh? And earlier we had the Banking and Insurance General Workers Union representatives, and huge also passing through, giving their support to us. Okay, as we move on, let us welcome to the altar here, the prayer table, to the microphone. To lead us in prayer, our oh, pastor, Pastor Plenty. Let us welcome the sister, Pastor Plenty. Good evening, everyone. If you could just bow your heads and, you know, bear some patience. Close your eyes and agree with me in prayer this evening. Father, we come before you this evening in no other name but the almighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we continue to always give you all the honor and glory. Lord, we thank you today for life and health and strength, for peace, love, joy, and understanding. Lord, you said that one could put down a thousand and two could put down ten thousand. And Lord, there are more than two of us here today. So Father, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness in high places and we pull down the strongholds of the enemy this evening. We decree and declare victory in everything that we do, Lord. So as the blue shirt army goes forward and we begin to march, Lord, we cry out your holy name this evening. Lord, we put you first in everything that is about to happen. Lord, we say this evening that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Lord, your people will now begin to prevail. We decree and declare victory. Lord, on the, in the meeting on Tuesday, we decree and declare even at this time, Lord, you will send forth your ministering angels and they will minister to the persons who have to make decisions. Lord, you will turn 
every decision that is against your people around right now in the name of Jesus Lord we stand together in agreement yes, for lack of knowledge Lord your people are destroyed so Lord as this evening we gain knowledge and as this evening we stand together father we decree and declare that this evening Tuesday will be a victorious day Lord your people stand together and you will hear our cries this evening so this evening we put on the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness we gird our loins with truth dear Lord and we shut our feet with the peace of the gospel taking up the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God in Jesus name I pray amen and amen. Thank you very much, Sister Pastor Plenty. Let us continue as we call our Sister Joanne Philip to the microphone here to lead us in prayer. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to sing two verses of our, our founding father's favorite hymn. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home beneath the shadows of thy throne. arms together because then we know this fight is not singular we know that the chain is as strong as the weakest link so we ask each and every one of us to be a brother's keeper for those who are weak we ask God to make them strong this evening because we know that the battle is not for the swiftest but for those that endure to the very end master and friend and this evening we ask you we ask you dear father to take charge this evening, Lord. Take charge of each and every situation this evening, Lord, if thou be so pleased. Father and friend, you know us by name and number. Father, we bring our President General before you this hour, Lord. The one in the hottest part of the battle this hour, Lord. Father, we ask you to fence around him like your friends the Garden of Gethsemane. We ask you to keep sin and Satan asunder this hour, Lord God. Hallelujah. Dear Jesus, yes, blessed Savior this hour, yes, yes, Father and friend, the executive Lord Jesus, my God, my God. Father help them to stand firm with their leader this hour Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Master and friend pick them up Lord God, pick them up Lord Jesus that they may arise and arrive at the occasion this hour Lord, Lord. Yes, Master and friend leave him neither forsake him this hour. Jesus, blessed Jesus. Father, bring each and every member here this hour. Each and every family this hour, Lord God. Each and every child this afternoon, dear God. Father, we bring them before you as evening sacrifice. Master, and we yield them out to you. May they ever asking be this hour, dear God. Father, leave us neither forsake us this hour. Master and friend, strengthen us for your purpose. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Lord. Because we know your purpose is arriving fast and unfolding every hour. We know that the bud may have a bitter taste, but we know sweet shall be the flower. Master and friend, I bring the Prime Minister before you this afternoon. Yes, Father, break down his heart this hour, if thou be so pleased. Master and friend this hour, let him know that you are God and God alone. 
you can create and you can destroy. Father, you can make every crooked path straight. Yes. So I don't go. Father, we call on you in spirit and in truth. Father, we call on you with meek humility this hour. Yes. Father, I'm from this Jesus. Father, look at our meeting on Tuesday. We ask you, Lord, to make an intercession this hour, Lord. Father, intercede on your children's behalf this hour, Lord God. You promised that if we asked for bread, you wouldn't give us a stone. Master and friend, and this hour we call on you yes, for peace, bread, and justice yes, this hour. Yes, Father, we ask you to remove all unrighteousness this yes, hour, Lord God, yes, Lord. and put your spirit within their hearts this yes, hour, Lord God. Yes. Not a heart of flesh, a flesh, but a heart of spiritual love, a heart that will overcome this hour, Jesus. Yes, Master and friend, this hour. Jesus, bless Jesus. Yes, Lord. Take charge, dear Lord. Take charge. Take charge, Holy Master. Yes, Lord. Ah, Jesus. Master and friend, build us up in grace. Yes, Lord. Build us up in truth this yes, hour, Lord God. Help us to call on you this hour in our darkest moments, God. Because you promised to be there for us, and your promise is not a lie. Friend and friend, this our Jesus. Mercy we ask of you this hour, Lord. Yes, Lord. And mercy is our total plea this hour, dear God. Yes, Lord. Father, have a way within our lives this hour, Jesus. Have a way within our hearts this hour, dear God. Master and friend, help us to look to the truth. Help us to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. This our Father and friend. Those who trust in Mount Zion shall not be moved. Master and friend, help us to trust and hold on to your word. Because your word is light, life, and everlasting. This our Lord Jesus. Master and friend, this our Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Take charge again, Holy Father. Leave us, neither forsake us. Father, if your blessing is as small as a mustard seed, we bid you to share it from heart to heart this hour, Lord. Help us to live in love and unity this hour, Lord God. Help us to hold on like Jacob of old till you bless our waiting souls this hour, Lord God, and do our bodies good. Master and friend, Answer George Roger this hour, God. Yes, Lord, 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 yes, Father, from the crown of his head, yes, pour your oil yes, down to the hem of his Lord, garment yes, this hour, Lord God. Yes, Keep him in your charge this hour, Lord, dear God, yes, Lord, because you have appointed him. Yes, Lord, Lord, you have placed him here, Lord God, to be your representative yes, Lord, and master and friend. If he holds fast to that which is true, he shall never falter. He shall never fail this our Lord God. So master and friend, keep him. Take charge again. In no other name we ask these blessings, but in your most holy name we pray. Amen. We're going to have the final prayer rendered here by Comrade Ernesto Kiza, the president of the Trinma branch. Let's welcome the Comrade. Thank you, Comrade PG. I greet you in the wonderful name of Almighty God, Jehovah, and His Son, Jesus. I bring to you a word this morning, this evening. And this word is taken from Exodus, Exodus 3, from verse 9. President General, this is for you. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, and you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, that, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? So God said, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. And when you have brought the people out of Egypt, 
you shall serve God on this mountain. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Moreover, God said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this word was given where I worship this morning. And it went on straight to my heart to tell our leader that he is our Moses right now. He has the favor. And through him, through Almighty God, he shall tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Father God, we come to you with no power of our own, but through your son Jesus. Father God, this evening we lift up our eyes to you, Lord, because you alone are our help, Lord. Father God, this evening all the little children and all of the attendant parents, Lord, all of the security forces, all of the workers, members, executive officers of this great and noble oil fields workers trade union, Lord, Father God, even our President General, Lord, we bring him before you this evening, God. Oh, Father God, I want you, Lord, I ask with all my humility, Lord, for you to cover him. Yeah. Cover him, God, with the blood of Jesus, Lord. Yeah. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, Lord, yeah. and in the center of his body, Lord. Oh, Father God, I want you to bless God, guide, and protect every single soul that is gathered here, Lord. Oh, Father God, we are gathered here in one accord for one purpose, Lord. And even though amongst us there is this uncertainty, there may be murmuring, but Father God, you have told us to stand still and stand firm and know that you are Almighty God. Oh, Father God, this evening we lift up all our hopes and dreams, Lord, all our sorrows, all our pains, all our problems, Lord, and just to thank you for making us on this the wake up list Lord you put us on the wake up list today and all we could ask you Lord is to consider us with favor for tomorrow Lord because we know not what tomorrow brings you alone know the hour and the time Lord just as how Lord we pray for our leaders here the leaders of country and of big business and energy Oh, Father God, we pray that you replace their heart of stone with a heart of flesh, a heart of understanding, Lord. Father God, this is our country, Lord. Trinidad and Tobago. It doesn't belong to no one group or no two group. It belongs to us all. Father God, lead not them to their own understanding, but to your will and your wisdom, Lord. Touch their heart, God. Take charge of their life, mighty God. And take over. Let your Holy Spirit reign in that meeting on Tuesday, God's willing, Lord. Send your avenging angels to deal with all the wickedness, Lord. Send them down, Father, in Jesus' name. To take charge. And let not an evil spirit enter that room, Lord. Surround it at the four corners and the bounding center, Father, Lord. As indeed you are surrounding us now. Father God, be with our every move and every movement, Lord. Father God, and as we leave this place here this evening, take us home safe, Lord. Grant us traveling mercies, Lord. And as we lift up our prayer and supplication to you this evening, Lord, we can only ask you to consider us with favor, Lord. For your favor, Lord, just a little smile from your face, Lord, is just enough to see us through, Lord. Just a little, a little favor, Lord, is enough to see us through. For you are all powerful, almighty. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jesu, Jehovah Kesidu. Oh, Father God, this evening, we cry out to you, Lord. 
we cry out to you as the children of Israel, Lord. I cried out. And Lord, without any prayer or any answer, Pharaoh had no choice but to let your people go. So Father God, do it again, Lord. Do it again. You are still in the miracle working business, Father Lord. Do it again. Do it again. And we put every single hope. We put all our trust in you this evening and forevermore, Lord. As the children of God say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Comrade Ernesto Kiza. Come as we're going to close now. I want you to hold your ground for just a moment. Again. But because I want us to close by observing God's prayer. All of us. Let me ask the executive and all the presidents of the various branches of Petrochim to come forward, please. Of the various branches. We are going to close with the, with the, the Lord's Prayer, our Father. But as we do that, I want all of us to kneel, to kneel down. Everybody, you came here to pray. Everybody, let me invite everybody to kneel with us in prayer as we observe the Our Father. And let us have silence. <laughs> Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and will be done, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And lead us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much, comrades. of this very important and significant exercise in prayer requesting of the Lord his intervention, his hand in saving not just for us but for country what is belonging to the country we have one more one more item before we close I want to have that performer come and perform and then I would have a short address bringing you up to date as to where we are and where do we go from here with respect to this struggle. Are we ready? Yep. Right, Mr. Good evening, everybody. God bless everybody. Too much I wanting good for nothing Too much a good thing never enough I don't know why my black people cannot see No party never care about we Every election we so devoted For we love up with the PNM As soon as election come and go It's only problem after problem How could we cope? Man lost the work I ain't seeing no solution Every time PNM come in power It takes a toll on black man I don't want to sound like a racist But this is what I can see They don't take care of the race Cause they damn well know they have we I want to ring me bell Wake up Eric William Tell him the party found him PNM need a 
you want to vote. How that you get in power to take a knife and you cut the throat. How could you be so heartless to spend all these broke and broke? Your only concern is the one who them alone. Everything in your house. Well, again, it's time for money next time. Something you done to me Now that the PMM take over Why is what people still going hungry? Only we going one way And if you think that way Only ring the bell you just like Oi! Well, let me sing ring the bell, right? Officer, come and join in Officer, come now, boy Ring the bell I ring the bell, ring the bell I ring the bell, ring the bell I ring the bell, ring the bell. I ring the 
Return safely to our various places of abode. So I just want to crave the indulgence of the seniors here to make these announcements. Comrades, when you leave here and you go home, well, first of all, I was advised to close this press session by saying Amen seven times. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, comrades. You, this session is officially closed. Thank you very much for coming and for giving visible support for what is absolutely necessary at this point in time. We are going to be communicating with you, except to say that there's a meeting on Tuesday. A meeting on Tuesday where they will put their plans before the union and certainly we will tell you what that is. And after that, you stay tuned, comrades. After that, we will be calling another session at a venue to be announced where we will tell you what is the way forward. We are strong in our resolve that what we are doing is right and that what we are doing is not only for ourselves but for the entire Trinidad and Tobago. Let us congratulate ourselves for a very peaceful and very orderly session here this afternoon. Let us congratulate ourselves for showing respect for prayer and supplication and devotion to the Lord the Most High. And let us thank God in advance for taking us safely home to our various places of abode. Let us go safely in prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen.